Okay, now that I look like Donald Trump, I'm just going to take Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in a different location today. I'm actually in Sydney. I'm staying at the Crown. I really wanted to show you guys how I do my full glam routine. That's literally one of my most requested videos and I was going to do it on TikTok, but I was like, I'm already TikTok vlogging every day and I feel like I'm leaving my YouTube family out. So I thought I would film a little get ready with me for you guys and get ready with you guys. And I feel like it's like more chill this way than like doing you know, a proper makeup tutorial. I really hope that my camera's charged enough. I actually didn't charge this one last night. I charged my new, I got the Canon G7X. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna have enough charge to last me through this whole tutorial. I'm actually trying out a bunch of new products that I got in America. I feel like the actual application of my makeup stays the same no matter if I'm trying new products or not. Sorry if I keep looking over there as well. I'm kind of just like seeing how I'm doing my makeup as I'm filming. First of all, I'm starting off with primer. I'm using the Refi primer. This is just the Glow and Sculpt face primer. With primers, I don't really feel like it makes that much of a difference. So I kind of just use whatever and I really want to test this one out. So we're using her. Uh, I've also done my brows as well. So that's all done. Now I'm going to move on to my foundation so i've been loving this combo recently i actually went and got the house labs foundation when i was in america i tried it out i'm not really the biggest fan personally of the finish i like more of like a natural finish rather than than a dewy so i've really found that these two together photograph so beautifully this is the foundation combo that i was using while i was in la and i really loved the way it looked on my skin the whole trip i just feel like it looks so nice in photos the shade that i'm using in the hourglass stick foundation is natural amber and in the makeup forever i'm using 2e01 i know you guys are probably thinking what are you doing that foundation is way too dark for you but you guys will see in a sec i like to use really really light concealers all in the center of my face and also obviously i'm matching to my body now that i look like donald trump i'm just gonna take my beauty blender with nothing on it and i'm just gonna pat over everything and this just kind of helps like melt it into my skin more next up i'm actually gonna be trying the house labs uh, concealer. Now this is in the shade 23 light medium golden. I was in such a rush when I was in store so I'm really hoping that what the heck that just broke dude what do you mean I just opened that dude the applicator is like full inside just broke off bro i've never ever had that happen with a concealer ever i don't even know how i'm going to use this now i guess i'm just gonna have to apply it like this guys that is so annoying thank god i brought another concealer with me also i feel like the shade is a bit too gray for my liking anyway i'm just gonna tr like blend it out before i put my usual concealer on top just to see what the formula is like i've tried so many concealers and i just always go back to my Too faced born this way i feel like it's a more hydrating finish but it doesn't look like too glowy or dewy or anything that's actually really really nice it's just such a bummer that broke I wonder if I can email them about that. But I bought it from Sephora, not the website. Do they even have a website or do they just stock it in Sephora in America? I don't even know. Also, if I'm going for a more like full coverage look, I'll usually put my Iconic London Radiance Boost on underneath my foundation. So I have like a few layers. But if you've tried the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and you feel like it's too glowy for you, that's like the perfect in between. Like it still gives you a really natural glow, but it's just not as glowy. I feel like the super glowy look just isn't for me. I don't think it looks good in pictures. I don't know. It's just not for me. I feel like my skin just looks so much better with the more natural finish products rather than like dewy. But I will say with my concealers, especially for like under my eyes, I do like something a little bit more hydrating. Now I'm just using a Maybelline stick foundation this is the superstay stick foundation i just got it in a dark shade and it's what i use 
as my cream contour it's more like a cream bronzer it's not really like a contour shade but i just really like the shade of this and then i'm just gonna grab my little zoeva 235 contour shader brush and i used to like full cream contour my nose but i haven't been doing that recently i've just been doing the tip here but i don't know i've been liking just contouring with like a powder contour later and then i'm also taking the same brush that i used for cream contour and i'm just going like in the corner of my eye like this okay i feel like the lighting in here is so bad that it looks like there's like no dimension to my skin i have filled in my brows but i'm gonna go back over them later and kind of like extend this out a bit more a couple of people have actually asked if i've had like a thread lift but i haven't i've just been doing my brows differently i don't know if you guys can tell here but my brows actually come down like this but when i fill it in i just cut so it like cuts that all off and then i extend this out here more if that makes sense that so my eyebrows are a little bit straighter and it gives that really lifted look and also i've been only applying lashes on my outer corner and i feel like that also lifts the eyes a lot next we have another product that i've been wanting to try out for a really long time i've got a few of these blushes already and i love 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 them like even just for the powder shade like I just use the powder shades on their own so much. I would love if he did like a palette of his most popular shades, like just with the powders and or even like a quad type thing. And then I could just take that with me traveling as like the one blush palette for different looks. But I've been wanting to try this particular shade for a while. It's called She's a Doll. I don't actually think Sephora Australia stocks this. So I saw it in America and obviously I had to get it. I know he says to like put the cream on top of the powder, but... I don't know about that as i said like i don't like too much of like a glowy look now with my blush as well i like to concentrate the product up here i don't really feel like that did much but once i put the powder on top um later on i think it'll look a lot better speaking of powders i'm going to be using my trusty favorite ride or die powder for baking this is the huda beauty banana bread Loose powder, it's just my favorite. I only really bake on the sides of my nose now. And as you guys can see, rather than baking under my eyes, I pack the product in and I really press it in to my skin. I don't really feel like baking in the traditional sense that we all used to do back in the day. I don't really think it does anything for me. The reason why I say for me is because I feel like different makeup techniques look good on different people i feel like you just have to like play around with it and figure out what works for you because like i said some people really suit that like super glowy you know makeup but i've just always preferred more natural finish kind of leaning towards matte look but not too matte to where i'm dry for bronzer i still have the same duo that i've used for years i just haven't found anything better foundation and concealers i like to like play around but when it comes to bronzes uh, when it comes to bronzes and stuff bronzes and stuff i just know what i like and i really love you know the tones and the shades of everything that i use morphe glamour bronze mega star bronzer there's probably a lot of people out there that if they put this much bronzer on their face they just look super muddy but for my i don't know why i just have to put so much on for it to even show personally now i'm just gonna be taking my mario ef1 brush and i'm taking the like thicker thicker side and i'm just going in with the same bronzer and i like to kind of pop it here and that'll help connect my nose contour later with my brows and then i also pop it on my outer corner here and again, this helps like lift everything and make the eyes look a lot more lifted. So I've just dusted off the um, powder that was next to my nose. And now I'm just going to take my Benefit Hula Caramel Bronzer. And this is what I like to use to contour my nose. Everyone's nose is different. So I feel like everyone should contour their nose differently, you know? I like to like do these two kind of lines on the side here which i feel like makes my nose look more buttony and then a line on each side nice and close together i'm connecting it to that bronzer that we applied earlier and to my brows up into my brows and if i feel like it's a little too harsh i just go over 
with a brush with no product and I blend out those sidelines a little bit. But again, I do like it a little bit harsher because then it comes up more in photos, you know? I'm just going to take another bronzer brush. This is the Morphe M530 brush. And I'm going to contour with this as well. Touch up my brows. <gasps> Wait, I wanted to try the Refi Brow Sculpt and I completely forgot, but we can do that now. You guys will see what I mean here by I like kind of make it a bit straighter. So my natural brow hairs go down like this and I just come out like that. And this really helps like lift my eyes. I've had this stuff for like two weeks and I've been wanting to save it for a video to try either on TikTok or on here. I feel like I should have done this before I did my face makeup, but that's fine. Wow, it makes my brows so fluffy. Wow, this is so fucking good, bro. What do you mean? Wow, I've got the Emco Beauty Brow Sculpt, which is meant to be a dupe of this. And I feel like it's a really, really good dupe and I still really love it. But this is just like a little bit better, like maybe 15% better. But I feel like it makes my brows look that little bit fluffier. Now I'm just going to go in with the powder side of that Patrick Tar blush. And just pack that on. Again, I like to focus the product up here. Stunning. Now moving back to my eyes, I'm going to try the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 3 palette. Because I don't want to do too much of my eye, I think I just want to put a little bit of this maybe through my crease on the outer part of my eye. And then I really want to use this dark brown gel liner thing. Oh, she's really pigmented. Mm, that's so pigmented. I literally dabbed my brush in once. So I'm just popping that cream shade onto a little angled brush. I'm just going to... Oh my god, I love this. Um, I guess we're actually basically almost done. I'm just going to move on to lashes now. This is one of the most asked questions, I think, what lashes you use. And no matter how many times I answer it, people still ask. That's all right. Uh -huh. For lashes, I like to use the Ilua Gimme Gimme Lashes. Yeah, they're in the shade Gimme Gimme. And I like to cut them in half and just stick it on the outer part. Do I think these are the best lashes ever? Not really, but I don't know, just to be honest, I'm too scared to try new ones. I feel like this works well enough, so that's why I use it. But honestly, you guys can just use whatever lashes and cut it in half or even just get lashes that are already cut in half. Generally, from my for my eye shape, I can't talk today, wow. Um, what I do is I just count like one, two, three, four and a half. Oh. And then this is the lash glue that I like to use. This is a duo quick set lash glue. Guys, I feel like this is barely even to get ready with me. Like I've barely been speaking about anything. I feel like this is more a tutorial than it is to get ready with me. But I'm in Sydney for something so exciting. I'm actually in Sydney for two reasons. One being... White Fox is having a little like staycay starting tomorrow. Um, but I also had a really exciting meeting today, which you guys will hear more about in the next couple of months. It's going to be launching in February. I did post something on my stories, which is obviously going to be gone now, like when this goes up. I feel like everyone obviously guess, you know, what it is. It's definitely very exciting and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Honestly, I'm so excited. So I just gave my lashes a bit of a curl. I do get my lashes lifted. I don't know, I just feel like once they get to like week three or four, they just start looking not the best. So the way that they look on like between week three and seven is just... It ain't it. They start going like all frazzled. I hate it. I'm just waiting for my lash glue to get tacky. While we're waiting for that to happen, I'm going to apply my highlighter. This is the Rare Beauty Flaunt Highlighter. Her highlighters are really, really good. I kind of just like to apply it again up here, just for that more lifted look. Look at how bright that is. Like, what do you mean? It's so good. One thing I really hate about the Refi packaging is 
because it all looks the same it's like so hard to see what's going on and i feel like it always breaks anyway i'm taking the refi lip sculpt in the shade sepia which is like a really really dark kind of brown but because because it's all broken it's gonna be hard to i don't know the packaging just ain't it hey this is like a very dark shade usually i'll use morphe sweet tea really just depends on the outfit like i feel like this looks good with like darker colored outfits if i'm wearing like light colors i'll probably just use morphe sweet tea because it's like broken that's gone on so badly and then it won't like go down that's why it keeps breaking at the top because it won't even go down properly see like it won't rewind <sighs> what are we gonna do with your hunt? I'm just gonna take the other end of this brush and blend it out because it's going on a little bit weird because of the whole breakage situation. Now finishing off my lips and then we're done. I really want to try this is the Charlotte Tilbury Cover Star lipstick. I don't actually think this is available in Australia. Well, I'm Mecca anyway, and well it wasn't my Mecca, but I've wanted to try this for a hot minute, so Excited to finally be trying it today. I feel like it looks very cool tone. I'm not really sure if that's just the Refi lip liner. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with my Kylie gloss in the shade Are You Fancy. This is my favorite gloss. I love how glittery and extra it is. There we have it, guys. There's the final look. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching. This is basically what I do for a lot of my content. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.